Now, these are very vital things in, uh, in Meru because when you go to Mira place, let's be local. Do you hear how clever they are? They have very crazy ideas. Do you listen to them? They're very clever guys. But the method of learning did not match him, so he dropped out. But now he has a wife and children. <clears throat> and it looked very funny if you're asking him to go to Gumbaru or back to school with the small children. But this intelligent guy, if you tell him I can evaluate you, find your values first, and then I give you a task in what you're good in. So we assign them a project with the tasks. So the work in the real world, it is what they produce with excerpts and evidences that we present to the university for marking, no written exams. There are many adults that we are converting today. And that reduces mental health problems, which is something we are underestimating in our adults who have been frustrated. It is out of those few values that I've mentioned that uh, we thought that Meru deserves to have this establishment, notwithstanding uh, potential uh, scholarship, international scholarship, especially for the young ones. Together with the World Talent Federation, to ensure that we are able to tap into the talent, the creativity, and the potential and innovativeness of young people of Meru County. <clears throat> and they are able to run and manage successful business enterprises which are properly supported and they are properly funded by the government. As Youth Enterprise Development Fund, we appreciate the innovation by World Talent Federation for the anthrobiometric kits which is uh, one of a kind by the fact that it is able to identify the specific talents and potential of an individual. And now through the biometric kit, which has now been successfully installed in Meru County, we believe that through the county we will now get the right people the right young people with the right entrepreneurial skills. And through that support, we are going to tailor make our training uh, in line with the potentials and the talents that have been identified through the anthropometric kit. And we will train them, we will help them to come up with uh, the right uh, <laughs> business plans, and we will be able to fund and mentor them of course, with the support of the county government and the World Talent Federation. So this is a, a step in the right direction and there is power in partnerships. We believe that with such kind of partnership, there is no young people who is going to be left behind and the issue of unemployment in Meru County will be a thing of the past. We are so glad this morning as the county government of Meru, led by Her Excellency Honorable Bishop Kawire Mwangaza, to host such a great team who have come at the right time. We've learned a lot from uh, Prof about uh, how the, the technology is working that uh, we want to introduce in Meru the technology for anthropobiometric machine that is able to uh, do human focuses. We are used to weather focus. <laughs> and uh, it's so exciting that uh, we can uh, do human uh, predict the, the talents and the natural abilities, especially for our children, our young people, and also uh, everybody, as the prof has very clearly uh, indicated. In partnership with the Youth Enterprise and Development FAD, 
together we are able to train our young people first to predict and uh, to put them through um, kind of uh, screening. I don't know if that's correct, bro. Mm -hmm. To screen and uh, prior predict the natural abilities.